Everybody, good morning. It is, it's Friday morning. Um, I've, I'm on my way to another job in the city, but on the way in, I just wanted to pop into this place. You probably remember it. it this was back in, actually beginning of the year, January, February time, we were here. It was this gaff, if you remember it. Uh, we were doing all the tray work here and everything, and this was gonna be sort of a bar, sort of nightclub, soiree sort of thing and it's uh it's kind of taken a back seat obviously because of uh coronavirus and stuff actually i came here on the on the scooter it's maybe not strictly legal but it's uh, a very quick mode of transport and i do wish tfl would hurry up and you know allow them to be used everywhere i came past here just to throw my nose in quickly and just have a look but unfortunately not a lot's changed and i don't see it changing anytime soon either yeah, because this is this was going to be a sort of bar come nightclub setup. I highly doubt it's going to be. Uh, I highly doubt it's going to be restarted. But there you go. That's uh, that's life. Yeah, that was supposed to be the bar, and it's going to be a DJ's desk here and stuff. But again, I highly doubt all this is going to start. But yeah, maybe one day we'll pick this job up. Truth be told, I don't think we will though. Yeah, it's Friday morning here, and. Uh, City's empty, I'll show you now. Yeah, considering it's Friday morning and you saw the city, how busy it was back in February. I'm just interrupting quickly. I... <laughs> I'm doing a job down in West Hampstead, right? And it's a far, it's, um, I'm actually changing that light fitting just there, just put an LED bulkhead in. And they fitted a new fire alarm panel. Now at some point that's been fitted in the last 12 months, but I, I don't know where, I don't know exactly when, but around the last 12 months. Nice panel, right? Brick coming here, just been fitted, mind. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, they've used FP200, but it's just on a plug top. It's just total gash, man, you know? And more than likely, the landlord has paid, you know, a pretty penny for this. And it does make you wonder. You price stuff up and you don't win the contracts. And you come back in and you just see shit like this and the way it's been done. It really it does make you wonder. It really does. I, and I can understand the logic behind it. I see what he was trying to do. There's no room anywhere in here to fit a dedicated fire alarm switch you know a dedicated shut off point there's no there's no there's just nowhere to do it so i understand that's why they've done that but like when you quote for something you know when you quote for a little alarm system like this like seven or eight grand and it gets turned down you start to sit to realize like the other contractor how are they so cheap how did they get it you know this this is how this is why they can do it cheaper and that's the other problem like i've now got to go i've now got to go back to the agents and I've got to sort of somehow politely explain, you know that system that was fitted, well, it's, it's, it's crap. But the problem is, I just, you just feel like you're some sort of immature snitch, you know, some like ch child playground snitch. Oh, he did that. And it's not, it's just, <laughs> you can't have that. It's just, you know, but you do feel, you feel like you're being some sort of like really pathetic snitch. But when it comes to fire and safety, you, you know, it's, it's gotta be right. And <laughs> you just, you can't have that. So you feel really bad for it, but there's not a lot, you, you know, you're just doing your job at the end of the day. But anyway, back to the video. Morning gang, welcome back to the channel. Now this was, this is actually just a very quick, uh, just a very quick segment I wanted to record. Naomi's literally, you've just missed her. She's disappeared off down to Fulham. We've got our last day down there of a house refurb, which we're doing. So she's gone off down there and I'm working in Hampstead all day today. Um, but I'm just, I'm finishing off an EICR, which I did, I did, I did this yesterday and I've just come back just to clean up and take photos. Now that was the bit that I wanted to talk about. So I'll, I'll show you around very quickly. So it is a very nice, it's a two bedroom flat, living room, it's a kitchen. And then your stairs there where you come up and, you know, two, you've got two bedrooms through there and a bathroom. And it's a very nice flat, but I have stressed this time and time again, and I'll keep stressing it on the channel because I really think it benefits people. I know a lot of you have heard it and a lot of you may think I'm preaching, and if that's the case, I apologize. But 
When you finish an EICR, okay, or in fact any work, doesn't matter what it is, take pictures. But you literally just grab your phone and just a couple of pics, that's all it's got to be. And the reason that I do this is because, well, two reasons, because this is the tenanted property and a lot of tenants will, they will question the property when they move in, asking questions because it proves that when you were here, there's no damage when you left. The amount of times I've had between me leaving and the estate agents, oops, sorry, between me leaving and the estate agents coming in, you do get issues. And they'll say things like, um, why is, you know, there's that mark on the carpet there, or there's this, or there's that, or whatever. And you've got to be able to back it up. And the only way you're going to be able to back it up is with photos with a time and date stamp on them. It's the only way you're going to do it. And the second reason is because when tenants move in, and anybody who's, let me just prop you up here. When some tenants move in, and any spark working in the, in the rental sector will know exactly what I mean. Some tenants are just dicks. They're just born assholes and they just are. There's no way of, there's no way of getting around it. Some tenants just move in and they just, they just from the word go want to cause trouble, which is why before I leave, just cold cup around any sockets, just mop down your floors. Just, you always see me carry this stuff, cold, blue roll, glass cleaner. I always keep it on the van and it's for this reason because you will get tenants who will move in and they'll be like, Oh, we moved in and that socket's, you know, that socket in the living room's hanging off the ceiling. And, oh, yeah, it's hanging off the wall. And you're like, you fucking liar. It wasn't. It's just when you were moving in, you just ripped it out of the wall with your three-piece suite. So that's all that's happened. But obviously they don't want to say that because then they've got to pay for the damage. So if they say it was like that already, they can say, sorry, it was like that already. I don't know what to do. And that way you have the photos and you can say, actually, sorry, it was, that was how I left it when, when I left the property. So it's really important to do it. Um, in my opinion. Not everybody does it, but trust me, photographs have got me out of shit multiple occasions. Obviously can't force anyone to do it, but I would definitely say if you're young, you know, you, or it doesn't matter whatever age, if you're, if you're qualified and you're just coming into this industry, honestly, just list, please listen to this advice. And I sound like yeah, a couple of you say that I hark on about certain things. And the only reason I do that is because when I qualified, what was that? That was back in, Christ, 2000 and 2007. Yeah, 2007, I got my ticket fully. And of course, back then, we didn't have this. We didn't have YouTube. There was no, it didn't, it didn't exist. We, it sounds so stupid because the whole world uses it now, but we didn't have it. There was no form of, there was no way of communicating like this. Like I can communicate to, you know, tens of thousands of people. We didn't have that. And I know when I started, Christ, the amount of mistakes I made was just horrendous. I made so many mistakes because you didn't have anyone to speak to. There was nobody you could, you could ask. Uh, because I know when I started, the amount of mistakes I made was horrendous. You did a job, refund, did a job, refund, did a job. And we just went, you know, and you were just learning because you didn't have anybody to bat ideas off. But uh, yeah, photograph your work, photograph your floors as well. I forgot to mention that. But anyway, I'm heading off to the next job. I'll see you in a sec. Another tip I've picked up when you come to a rental property, right? So you've normally got a deadbolt and you've got your latch bolt, right? If you come here and the deadbolt isn't locked and the agent has given you keys, don't bolt it on the way out. Leave the locks how you found them. So the reason for that is because if the tenants have gone out and you've come in and they've only got the latch key with them, they're going to come back and they'll be locked out. So always lock the door the way you found it, in which case here I found it. Because again, I've made that mistake before where you think you're doing a good job by dead bolting the door and actually what's happened is the tenants, you've hopped in your van and driven off and the tenants come home and they can't get in and they ring the agent and they're like, what the fuck's going on? Why can't I get into my property? Like This some won't go out, God. I'm recording it for the sake of it. Oh, we're recording it for the sake of it. Hi, Mum! Oh, no, yeah. wait a minute, don't have a mum, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So, um, yeah, no, I'm in the van because um, he kidnapped me after, after our conversation couch, so 
I've been used as slave labour, which is great, um, but bad because <laughs> I've got a hurts. fucking clue where we're going. I think if I just put a destination in somewhere. And that. listen, do you know what I do when I drive? I just point the fucking car in a direction and I drive. No one gets what I'm trying to do, right? I don't get what you're trying to do and I'm in your van. Domestic is, and I, I always hate, because I, I did mainly industrial, domestic is really difficult. It's really hard because yeah. you've got rules, you've got boundaries, you've got people's homes, you've got to be clean, you've got to be neat, you've got to be tidy, you've got to be respectful to the customer, you'll always scrutinise everything you're billing them. Um, it is really, really difficult to work in domestic. The trouble is, the volume of rubbish we're seeing out there on the domestic world, it's only the people who care who are going, hang on a minute, this is crap. You sometimes get very emotional on your videos. And, and there are times, if you don't mind me saying this, you've gone, so hey, um, user 4878, fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> and everyone's true. watching. So sometimes you do get a little bit emotionally carried away, but that's fine, because that's passion, you're a Virgo. Don't forget you're a Virgo, and you're also a terrible driver. What is wrong with you? You. It's a bus lane. No, I've got, well, that's a dick, you twat, the BMW. Um, I think this is London, and I think London, for anyone who's worked in London, and I have worked in London, doing house bashing and commercial and various bits, it's a clusterfuck of old crap that you have to mop Which up. Which we've got to try and mop up and make safe, yeah. And it's hard, and you've got to try and earn money and not get your tools nicked or you're on site, <laughs> or nicked out of yeah. your van, or you're getting car clamped, or some other shit. I used to work down that road, actually, fair enough. The trouble is, is can, if you mind me interjecting, what you're saying is common sense should prevail. Yeah, however, it fucking does it. however, you have forgotten Sorry, the golden rule. <laughs> You've forgotten the golden rule. Common sense is not common. Come on, love. Let her, let her restart her car. There's a McDonald's just up here. Fucking perfect. Brilliant. Awesome. McDonald's. Like I'm not fat enough. <laughs> fucking hell, you're terrible, eh? Talk about a cheap date, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Common sense. I know what you're saying about this common sense thing. Common but sense isn't common, dude. But I'm st how can that be an argument? You're a fucking like a gas fitter or a spark. Because You've gas fitters, have gas sense. fitters are subjected to robust checks and re-exam every three or four years. They have to go on a register. If they screw up, they get absolutely slaughtered and they get their license in. But well, their gas safe pulled. <laughs> oh, you slag! Look at that. Yeah, got reversing cam and everything, mate. If I drop you out, in fact, if I drop you out here. I can reverse it then. Yeah, no worries. Where's the phone? Oh, yeah, it is. Fucking hell. 